Fridays at my shop with me. That doesn't make any sense. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. Today is Friday and I think that I'm going to start a new kind of little series on Fridays and it's going to be Fridays at my shop with me. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I haven't, I, I haven't thought of anything yet, but, um, Fridays I'm going to film, um, kind of a little, I guess, behind the scenes. It is, it is Wednesday here. No, it's not Misty. It's Thursday here. And I am getting ready to ship all, all of the things that I sold yesterday during my live sale. So I will probably show you a few of the things that I'm going to be shipping and kind of a, combine it with a ship with me slash walking around the shop tour because I've got some exciting things to show you. Things have been changing around here, so I want to show you that. These are the things that I will be shipping today. I And I'll get it all done in one day. All of this thing, all of these things have sold and they will be shipped. All of those and these and those not baby Jeff Jeff. Baby Jeff Jeff has not sold, nor has my favorite Mrs. Hawk Claws. Look at her. Those are mine. And these are things that people have messaged me about in some haul videos, so I'm going to ship those out and these out. So all those things are going to get shipped today. Um, here's a little sneak peek of a haul that I'm going to be doing very soon. See it? Oop. Okay. But look, guys, look, I got shelves and I'm starting to film. I mean, I've, I mean, I've got stuff to film, trust me, but I'm trying to organize things a little bit better. I do want to show you these. These were brought in by my best friend, Cindy, who is also Graham's mom. And I'm going to be selling these chalkware pieces in a live sale. So don't message me about them. I'm selling them for her in a live sale, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek of them. They're pretty amazing, especially these. Oh, I love them. And look at her. She's a chalkware fancy girl and some swans and some frogs. So these chalkware pieces will be available in my next couple live sales. So make sure that you come to my live sales so you can see and maybe buy those if you would like. Um, I pulled out all of these magazines. I have tons of these Better Homes and Gardens magazines from the 30s. Most of them are in excellent condition. So I'm going to be, these are going to be in live sales. I'm going to start probably doing two or three of them in a live sale. But my gosh, look at the cover art on them. Walter Frame. And I know that you have to look to, at value. Sometimes these older magazines, depending on who the illustrator was on the cover, can you know, it can make a difference. This one's 1932. Can't read who that um, illustrator was, but Better Homes and Gardens, 1932. Oh my gosh, look at this one. September 1934. The little boy smell in the flower. So beautiful artwork. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing on these magazines. Um, and then I do have some of these like mechanics handicraft magazines. Look at them. Isn't that space age? And this guy, these can be pretty, these can be worth a pretty penny. I was sh talking to Michael, the cult of vintage, and I was showing him this magazine. Let me get it into a better light. This magazine is Strength, and I think it's like a health magazine from the 19, what was it, 19, oh, let's see, where are you at? 1920 this is from 1920 and my favorite thing in this magazine oh were these the Zigfield Folly the article about the Zigfield Folly girls oh my gosh isn't she beautiful oh I love them why Folly girls are beautiful well look at them so it's all kind of about like, there's Earl Lederman. He's the muscle builder. Benjamin Belclair. It's all about health things in the 1920s. About posing and Sigmund Klein. 
I don't fear cancer now. The story of a girl who fought and conquered the family weakness. So just, just a neat magazine. I've not seen this one before, but this is from 1920, October 1920. And it was 25 cents back in the day. So I'm going to do a bit more research on that. Uh, let's see what else here. Dad has pulled out some things from the back. Like I have lots of these. These are copper uh, light fixtures. I, I have a lot of these double light fixtures. So these were pretty neat, I think, too. These can do, these are like salvage and they can do pretty well. People are wanting to, if they're remodeling an old home and they want to have period uh, light fixtures in their home. So I've got those. Um, I'll, I'll go back and show you some of the other ones. What else did he bring out? What was this? This is a desk lamp. But this, well, how does this work exactly? Oh, it mounts on the wall. No, it doesn't. I don't know. It's a brass desk lamp. I'll figure that out later. And still, I still have to go through that Christmas stuff. And then we have a couple clocks over here. We have the sailboat. This one, unfortunately, does not work. But it's still a really cool kind of a statement piece with this ship. Um, this one does not work. The light does work. I don't think the clock works. Um, it is the stagecoach mantle clock. He does have his little whip <laughs> right here. He has all his pieces. Oh, and it just went behind the... Oh, no, it didn't. Here's his whip that he whips the horses with. It goes in his hand like that. So he does still have his, his whipper there that's not gonna be fun to ship but i got one of those um my plan is to fill this up with books i can't get to the books right now that i have in the back that's going to be my plan this is going to my house eventually and then i moved a shelf over here that i can start using as well my plan is to get some more shelves and put them on this side too honestly it does it makes it a lot nicer when i was preparing for my sale I could just walk back here and just pull things off of my shelf to sell. So it made it really nice. I've got salt and pepper shakers up in here. And then I've got some figurines and some littles. I've got, I think I'm going to do an air plant starter kit and sell some of these little vessels here that are perfect for air plants. Some of them I've had at home and then I've brought because I've because I'm kind of just sticking with like an, the animal figural ones. So I'm, I'm bringing those in and I think I might do like a lot of them. And then I have my planters. You guys know that I love planters. These will be available very soon, like the little deer. I have this airplane that I think is very cute. It does have a chip in it there, but I've never seen an airplane planter. I thought it was cute. Um, so yeah, I've got some planters back here that will be available soon. Some more kind of figurines. These, those things, so it's a clown bookend, which is actually pretty cool, but it's a clown nonetheless. And so yeah, some single salt and pepper shakers that I still like. I'm bound to determine to find the fork. There's a fork that goes with this guy. So I'm going to find the fork eventually as another single. That's another tip. If you have... A bunch of singles that you're looking for mates for it's a good idea to take a picture of them on your phone and keep them in a file so when you're out and about and you see a lot of other single um, at an, an antique store you can look and see which ones you might be needing the mate for so there's a little tip there this is a gobel bear solo gobel bear some restaurant wear and then these guys i'm probably going to sell these um, in an upcoming sale. I'm not sure when. I'm not sure when yet. Um, I am looking for the rest of the set of these mugs. Um, there is a blue one and a red one. And then I'll have the whole set. I do believe. No. One, two, three, four. I don't know how many. I just sold the complete set. And I got these at a, um, flea market for 50 cents a piece. So I, I couldn't not buy them. I can't remember again the name of this series. I'll try to put it 
somewhere on the screen so you can see, but there are these pedestal mugs. They are pretty collectible um, with the birds on them. And they, they, they have different color pedestals. Some flower frogs, some fairy lamps. I have more. I have five more I have to move over here. Some uranium glass. These I just bought, and my viewers, so, so thank you, they let me know that these are called, they're made by Ellie Smith, and it's crackle glass or cracky glass. Uh, I paid, how much did I pay? I paid $9.53 for the lot of four of them. So they're going to be available soon in the live sale. I do save all of my uranium glass and my fairy lamps for my live sales. I don't sell them in advance. I sell them, I save those, certain things I save for my live sales. What did I, oh, I was said I was going to show you some more of these light fixtures back here. Dad and I were back here looking because he's wanting me to clean off a shelf back here that he can put some things on but here's some more these are brass light fixtures here a set of them and then these as well are bra also brass and they have the little hanging things where you can turn the lights on from the lamp itself so i have a pair of those and these are actually for a car <laughs> these are car headlights we just got a lot of a lot of different things back here. These are all more car parts back here too. And then I have all of these player piano reels. I have tons of them. And they're really not they're not worth a whole lot of money. Dad says that down in these boxes they are in mint condition, never open. So those might be those might be better. But I'm not quite sure about these. We've had them for a very long time. I also have some globes for lamps. Now, I have sold these on eBay and have done pretty well, especially the ones like this. Look at those. With those sunflowers on them. Aren't those beautiful? Unfortunately, there's only three of them. I wish that there were four. And then these are globes for um, lightning rods. This is a milk glass globe for a lightning rod. I've got a couple of those. Those can be, those can be worth some money. These are just little oil lamp uh, Dad calls them chimneys, but they are chimneys, but Dad calls them chimneys, which is kind of what I tend to call them now. A couple of oil lamp shades back there, too. So those need to get listed. What is this? Ruby Lamp Complete Outfit. Well, let's find out what this is. It's in the box. Oh, well, that might be worth some money. This is like for a, um, a siren. It's a ruby red glass still in the box. Well, hey, that might be worth something, boys and girls. We might have to look that up. I'll look that up right now. All right, so I tried finding this on eBay, and I didn't have any luck finding the exact same thing, so I might have to look on Worth Point. But what this is is for a photography, like a developing like to develop photographs. So, and other things that I have seen from this Burke and James were going for a pretty penny. So this might be pretty good, guys. I'm not seeing it. I'll do a little bit more investigating on it, but it's, it's brand new in the box, never been used. And it even has, on the inside, it even has the, in here, is the, the light bulb that would screw in. So it would be on like a photography developing kit. So that's pretty good. I'll have to do a little bit more research on that. This drawer system I am taking home with me because I am going to use it at home. And we've got art supplies in here, apparently. I don't have to clean out. I don't know if there's... Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of arts and paints. I wonder if Dad knows that these are in here because he uses these when he does repairs on, like, chalkware and stuff. He said that they were empty, but they do have a few things in them, like watercolor paints, so I'll let him know that those are in there, and what is this? I don't even know what this is. It's cast iron. 
Oh my goodness. Let me, let's take a little bit closer look at this. Look at those. It's got, are those birds or are they snakes? What is this? Is it a scale? It's a scale. Look at this ornate metalwork on here and it's got these birds on it. I think they're birds. Doing everything with one hand is sometimes not the easiest thing in the world. So it's a scale. It's got the weights up here, but my goodness, this is a lovely scale. Very ornate. Ooh, that's pretty cool, I have to say. So I'll have to investigate that a little bit further myself with these birds on it. Or are they snakes? What do you think? Are they birds or are they snakes? I can't tell. I, I'm going to lean towards birds. But yeah, there's a lot of things back in these boxes and stuff that I really can't even get to. I've got a lot of these. These are from cars, like old car headlights. I've got a lot of those. And again, I've, I've talked about the lamp shades. I got a lot of lamp shades, which can do very, very good on eBay. They really can. I just haven't had time to get them listed on eBay. So what I really want to do too is get to all of these books. This is full of books back there and I'm dying to get back to them, but I can't get to them. I will say though, I know that Jamie from Mid-Century Wasted every Sunday, and I'll link her channel down below in the description, but every Sunday she does a Sunday at Sears and she goes through a Sears catalog. The one that she's going through I think is from... 1968 but I just found this is a Sears and Roebuck this is a spring and summer 1938 catalog this one is also Sears and Roebuck Let's see if I can find a date in here 1936 oh my gosh look at the oh this one is not, I don't think it's a Christmas catalog. I'm not sure when they started doing the Christmas. This one has the cover missing. Um, but let's see if we can see what date it is. No. It, it's from the 30s. But without that cover on it, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find. Okay, spring 1938. Ooh, look at these colors for your hosiery. Really? Oh, no, paint. Well, this, this is paint. Paint colors. I mean, if you were wanting to color match, if you're redoing a vintage, you know, a, a home and you want... 1930s paint style or paint colors. This is pretty cool. I love that turquoise blue. So there's paint. The, oh, silk hosiery colors are down here. There's more paint. Ooh, look at that pink. So that's pretty cool. I have to say. Oh, look, you can get a plow. You can get a cultivator for $38.35. All right, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get things set up down here so I can start getting my orders shipped and get them out. I'm going to start doing that now. I'm going to get my, I will go ahead and get my camera set up on the tripod so I can record myself packing up a few things. So I'll include that in this video as well. And Let's get going, kids. We got a lot to do today. All right, so one of the first things I'm going to ship out is this apothecary bottle that sold to Martha. Now, this did not sell in a live sale. It sold um, something that she had seen me haul, and so she emailed me, and she wanted it. Um, it has this glass stopper, and I'm going to take one piece of bubble wrap and wrap the glass stopper separate. I don't want to wrap it. I don't want to pack it on top of this because it'll rattle around when it's being shipped and it, you know, it could break. So I'm gonna wrap it up by itself. One thing that's important, I think that it's important to do is when you have something that you're wrapping up separate, this can get lost in the shuffle of the box. So I like to always put 
you know, something that's going to make it stand out. So I'm putting a little thing of tulle or ribbon around it. So sometimes I'll put a piece of tape just to hold it in spot in place. So when she's opening this up, she will see that there, oh, there's something else in here and not toss the box away. Now this has a filler in it already because if this was empty, I would have shoved it with paper, but it has this cotton in here that I'm going to leave in there because it's going to help me with shipping it. And I'm just doing my tuck and roll. Using as little tape, as little tape as I can, because if you tape, if you tape something to death, it's hard to get open. So I'm going to put some, and you know, you have to take into consideration, some people have a hard time opening things, you know, if they have arthritis or, um, you know, problems with their motor skills on their hands, it might be a little bit difficult for them to open that. I just recently ordered on Amazon, uh, these stickers, I think they were $6.95 free shipping, and they are stickers of these vintage movie posters. So we've got, what is that? We are the pirate, Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland. They're just little stickers. So for six, and you, I think you get 50 of them. There is Funny Face. Maybe I'll include Funny Face in Martha's. I don't know, just something fun as a package topper. Um, so I got my business card, which is the most important thing that you can put in your packages to let people know who you are. And so I will put these on her package. Got this recycled Marvel Studios box. I think that will work. Yeah, that'll work nice. And then I'll put the stopper in there like that. And then I will put some filler around it. I should have told you that there is a thing of bubble wrap on the bottom of this. So it's not solely touching the edge of the box. You don't want it to touch the edge of the box at all. That'll go in there like that. One pounds, eight ounces. Got 10 by eight by six. We'll stick it over here, ready to ship. Okay, my next item goes to Nicole. Nicole bought the uranium glass fairy light. And she bought this beautiful uh, kind of Art Nouveau brass tray and this other brass, brass calling card tray. So I'm going to wrap these up in some bubble wrap. Usually sometimes with the square things, I'll lay it diagonally. Fold the side over and then each side over like that. Same thing with this one. Now these aren't, they're not glass. They're not going to break, but I don't want them to get scratched up either so they still need to be protected even though you know you don't have to worry about it breaking you still want them to be protected then we got this little light here and i'm going to use some paper to fill in the void just still gives it some some integrity while it's being shipped, I'm gonna lay this on its belly and do the tuck and roll on the base. Again, we're wrapping them separately. We don't want them to go, we don't want them to be wrapped together because they'll, they're gonna, they're gonna bump around in there. We don't want them to bump around on one another. Holding the sides over, use that one. a little too much there. I'm going to lay that down and also do a tuck and roll. I know that not everybody may have like a, a cleared counter space, but honestly it does help the stress a little bit of shipping if you have a nice flat surface that you can roll 
your bubble wrap on. When I was working out of my house, I would clear my kitchen table off or my counter off, and I would use that for shipping. Sometimes I like to tuck the sides over on this bubble wrap, but sometimes it just makes it too bulky. But I will use this to put in the box as filler. So now I'll just tape down the sides there. Like that. So I'm going to use, just because you know I like to make my packages, I like to make my packages happy. I'm going to stack these two trays on top of one another. They are wrapped in their bubble wrap, so they're protected. Give them some gussying up. We want Nicole to be put a smile on her face when she opens up her box. That means a lot to me. And a business card. And let's see. I'm not going to say what sticker I'm going to give Nicole because she might want to be surprised. She may not want to uh, see what sticker she's getting. I'm also going to put a little playing card in there as well. A little cute playing card. All right, and then I do still put some tool around the fairy light. It also, it helps, it kind of helps the bubble wrap stay in place as well. I don't like the way that you are looking tool, so I'm going to cut you a little bit. Now, if you want some more shipping videos to watch, I, and I'll link their channels in the description below, but I highly recommend uh, The Niche Lady. Um, she she puts out really good shipping videos every week, too. I'll, I'll link her channel down below. And also, Melissa from Fresh Blooming Clothing. She does really good shipping videos as well. She sells a lot of clothing and jewelry, not a lot of hard goods, but um, she has a lot of helpful tips. And a lot of the inspiration that I've gotten from you know, doing my packages this way has came from her. So I will link their channels down below. So make sure that you do go over and watch those videos because they are very helpful as well. All right. So let's see. I'm going to try. We're going to try to do this USPS mailing box. This is a seven by seven by six. And again, I say these, these priority mailboxes can be ordered for free on usps.com now you know when you ship something priority it needs it'll be it'll weigh anything that weighs over a pound will have to ship priority unless you're doing it media mail and so you can't order first class boxes i wish that you could that would be great if you could get free first class boxes that would be that would be like a dream i'm going to use this extra piece of bubble wrap that i pour off that I didn't use and I'll put the fairy lamp in there and then I'm going to put this extra little bits of bubble wrap that I cut off from the fairy lamp and then put those trays on top and again I used to I used to scowl at using newspaper but I'm recycling it instead of taking it to the recycling center I'm recycling it in my boxes had a little pad and it just makes sense to me now I, I'm taping this up oh I hate it when I do that does that drive anybody else crazy makes me crazy when I do that but I'm shaking it we hear nothing which is what we want we don't want to hear anything rattling around in there it's one one pound 9.9 .9 ounces so I will round it up to one pound 10 ounces this is a seven by seven by six box and it's going to nicole and i'll get this out to you my dear
it's seven o'clock. I'm still at the shop shipping. Um, Graham couldn't make it in today, so I'm doing it all myself. It takes me a little bit more time, and <clears throat> I'm not leaving until it's done. So this is all I have left to do, are these little things here. But I got all of this done, and all of that done, and all of this done today. So I have about 120 items altogether. So it's been a long day, but I'm going to get it finished and I'm going to go home and edit a video, this video. So I hope that you enjoyed this. <laughs> it's been a little bit of a strange day. I will be, I'm going to start doing these. If, if, if there's anything new to report, I'm going to start doing these on Fridays. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here so I can get finished so I can go home. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure that you please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.